everybody has moles, and the big question is, is there anything to worry about? There are many growths that people get that often mimic moles. The question is, is what you have a mole, and is it anything to worry about? So let's start off with some benign things that we get on the skin that mimic moles. You get common fleshy growths around the neck or the armpit. These are what we call skin tags. Uh, the medical term for this is an acrocordon. They're nothing to worry about. Oftentimes they're a nuisance, either cosmetically or functionally because they hurt or itch. If you'd like to have them removed, a dermatologist could easily snip them off and take care of it. What we recommend is to look at your skin once a month, paying attention to all parts of your body, starting with the scalp, looking all over the front of your body, and then also paying attention to the buttocks, your back, or the back of your legs. We recommend doing this once a month. If you look at it too frequently, I equate this to watching hair grow, you won't notice any changes. Once a year, we recommend a full skin check with your primary medical doctor or dermatologist. If you're under the age of 40, it can be done every two years. If you do have a history of skin cancer, then we definitely recommend follow-up with a dermatologist. So what we see here is the initial example of a normal mole. And as you can see here, uh, it's typically brown. And what's most important is when you look at all edges, it is fairly symmetric. We see that the colors remain constant throughout the portion of the mole. What we have here on our next image is simply an example of a mole being present on the buttocks. Why I show this is to remind everyone that we do see moles everywhere on the body and when you do your skin checks at home to look everywhere. Pay attention not just to what you see, but the areas that you don't always pay attention to. This is an example of a mature mole, what we would call a dermal nevus, uh, located right here. It's typically a skin colored growth, usually something that becomes apparent later in life. It loses its skin coloration but raises off from the skin, which oftentimes will alarm patient, but what's most notable is this is 100% benign. This is an example of a benign thickening of the skin. This is not a mole, but it is the number one thing that brings patients to our office, both from physicians and from patients themselves. It is what we call a keratosis. Again, it's what I affectionately call a wisdom spot because you do get it as you grow wiser or more mature. The nice thing about these growths is while they look atypical, they have no chance of turning into cancer. This, on the other hand, is an example of an early melanoma. Unlike the previous ones that we showed, you can see that there are multiple colors involved in this melanoma. It is not symmetric throughout, and this is a lesion that has continued to grow over time, prompting concern. This is another example of a melanoma. This is an early stage melanoma, but again, you can see multiple colors within the lesion, and again, rapid growth was noted by the patient. This is a more advanced version of a melanoma, located on a man's chest. Again, you can see the deep black colors, one of the three colors, blue, black, and gray, that we do not like to see in moles. And again, an asymmetric quality to the lesion. And lastly, this is an advanced melanoma, something that unfortunately had been present for years before evaluation was prompted. And at this point, the melanoma has grown in thickness and become a nodule or a tumor-like growth on the back of this patient's leg.